All right, guys, we're back to another set 11 TFT. For almost forgot to hit record because uh, good old Lilia came down and threw all augments everywhere. So we're past the PvE. No portals this game. Starting off here, I'm doing a little bit of a Star Reaver reroll because that's pretty easy to move into anything. We're also picking up something for Heavenly Grab if we want to. It's not probably our strongest board at the moment. Yeah, yeah she bad. Pretty much whenever like Lilia throws away your portals, I, I see a lot of people gravitate towards like Santa Reroll, uh, a lot of Story Weaver players, people that are heavily starts. People who play like the comps are just really good to like kind of position and pivot with because you don't know when and what augments you're going to get, right? So you want to kind of always be building like, you always want to be building your strongest board regardless, but like I find like linear, these linear builds really go a long way. I want to play for gold here, so I'm going to try to force a uh, loss streak for the entire second round. I can see we get our augment right before the end, so I have no real desire here to throw in any units. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of play. Chill. What I will do is I'll turf this one Garen, because even if I play a Store Reaver, I probably won't be playing him. I'll grab my Heavenlies, right? We're going to scout here. Ink Shadow, Arcanist, Store Reaver, Behemoth. Yeah. You can kind of see, like I said, a lot of people go Star Reaver, right? We don't mind throwing our HP here. I Like, if I actually do pivot to Heavenly, which I have a good start for because I have the, the three units, I want to be low cost to pick up all three of these units. I have a 75% chance of seeing one cost right now if I were to, like, reroll, which I'm not going to. We're going to have a 70 or 45% chance to see uh, one cost after we naturally level up after this round, which will increase our two cost units. So if I stay low and just use my, my gold to only try to two-star some of these, like get some of these as pairs, we're going to have a very good pivot point when we go into 3-1 that I can have a lot of money with and be able to kind of play around, right? This world At the same time, I can't completely neglect what we're working with right now, so I will put... Uh, let's just put another tank out here. So yeah, the plan is to lose all this. Lose it all. Go into the third stage with like, I don't know, 75, 80 HP, whatever it gives me. I haven't really paid attention too much to a full loss streak. Normally my loss streak gets interrupted by someone playing Fortune or something early, so I haven't really seen what a full loss streak will give me at the end, but I'm assuming it's probably like 78 health. <laughs> That's why we can't have good things, guys. You put out one unit and then you win. Sheesh. So I guess if you guys all give you guys the housekeeping while we're just kinda of doing some AFK work here. Uh, if you guys are new coming back, definitely hit the old thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on if you like my videos or not. Uh I don't care if you like them or not. Well I do actually care if you like them or not, but if you have thumbs up or thumbs down, it's to me it doesn't matter as long as you are engaging drop a comment if you want i respond to all the comments i have a lot of fun reading what people have to say and responding to it um more often than not they like point out the little silly things i'm doing which i know in the back of my head i'm doing wrong i'm just not necessarily always paying attention when i'm on my computer because i'm trying to multitask so that's always funny and uh yeah if you like my vibe hit the old sub button uh channel just passed five months old we're going into six months old so Still pretty up and coming, but you know, we got a decent little fan base, or not fan, I shouldn't say fans, but subscriber base. People that have kind of liked the content I'm putting out, so. Join the community. We do a lot of fun, weird videos. I like to try to do builds that aren't necessarily meta. Yeah, we'll play meta, but like, I like to make like builds you don't normally see other people doing, just and then actually showcasing it. Sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. <laughs> More often than not, I'll be getting thirds and showcasing weird builds I decide to try to do. But hey, that's just the way she goes. Alright, so hopefully we lose this one, right? Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. So you better kill me, man. There we go. I was about to say, if we lost, if we won that one, I was going to be like, this is a weird lobby. So 88. Went into an encounter, followed by an augment. That's huge. I remember someone like, I'm not going to say the streamer's name, but there's a streamer that's like, oh, this is useless, guys. This is useless. And I'm pretty sure you can figure it out if I say brother man. Brother man, this is useless. But, uh, 
And then they like change their tone like a couple videos later. I'm like, it's not useless. It's like it shows you exactly who you're fighting for that's the game. Um This is kind of novelty, but it could shape our team. No. We're gonna go with this just for content, because most people would not pick this, so I will be the sucker. Wow, that definitely throws a wrench in my game. Holy. I regret everything. Huh. Wow. <laughs> that could not be further away from the builds I'm trying to build right now. Um, we can make this work. We'll make this work. Let my brain cook here, guys. Uh, yeah, we got some people here in Heavenly Reaper, of course. This guy already got... Has he already got a cane? No. Okay, good. Oh, jeez, guys. Okay. We'll make it work. Oh, when do we see our next augment? I'm going to wait to decide. I want to switch this team comp around. We'll figure this out, though. Have no fear. My destination is clear. Um, should be strong enough to beat this. Yeah, I'd be surprised if we don't beat that. Okay, so we're back and complete that story, Reavers. We're gonna move into Umbral. We're gonna do an Umbral Heavenly Cane game. Gonna combine forces with my love for uh, Alune with Kane. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. Worst case scenario, we get more and more Umbral units, so we just kind of pivot into a straight out Umbral game, which would be kind of gross, but at the same time, I like playing it. It's definitely the underdog. <laughs> Tons of stats. Pass on that, Savage Bin. Little Buddies would be pretty good. The Umbral doesn't play a lot of 1 and 2 costs, but it heavily does. Oh, jeez. We're gonna get old Gargantuan in this, this house here, guys. We're gonna sell you, sell you, sell you. We're gonna put you out as well. Welcome to the party, put you out. And then we need to put you out. Double up here. You out for the double duelist. Oh, jeez. Mythic. We're gonna probably sell you. I don't have a room for Arcanist. You guys are chilling. You guys are chilling. Alright, time to find our lane, guys. He's obviously trying to build this up for his cane. Temporary cane holder here. Okay, so we donated a lot of health here, so we can kind of bounce back and get into this game. We don't get any augment here, so I definitely need to get some strength here. And put my foot down. I'm gonna level up after this round. What can we put over right now for a temporary boost to our strength? Try to make you, because we're going to get you naturally, right? So we can try to make you a frontline carry. I've done this before with the Loon and uh, Silas carry. We got them both three-starred. Fun game. Um, Yeah, we'll try to do something like that. It'll be like the Silas 2, Kane 2, Yone 2, Umbral 4, maybe. Could possibly put six depending on our last augment. Probably three heavenly, I'm guessing. Jeez. When do we get this? Oh, there he is. I was like, where's our other, where's our other Silas? There you are. This guy's obviously going the uh, Arcanist reroll. It's funny, like, I can tell just by what people are playing at the start of the game 
what copy and paste build they're doing. It's actually hilarious. I'm not even saying that to be negative. It's just funny to me. Chill here for a bit. So we're going to watch right here. So this player is doing obviously faded probably. Uh, this is going to be an Arcanist spot. So clear as day. So this guy's kind of bite my style. Uh, this is the Umbral. Um, not Umbral. This is going to be the Arcanist reroll with Heavenly. Chances are that's the Ash build though. That's going to be like the Ash. That's going to be doing... Oh, no, you, don't, you have a Heavenly spat. Okay, never mind. I'll take that back. They're playing two of the units that you play for the Ash build. But they have Heavenly emblems. So. I'm not 100% sure about that one. Unless you failed me. Bleeding out here. Bleeding out. There's a cane we need. Jump on the umbral six for now. Just to spread out these hexes a little bit. Yeah, that should be all right. So I'm gonna have a two-star Silas right away. I should probably try to itemize him. So I'm gonna be looking for like uh, Ionic Spark. It's really good on uh, Silas. Probably a Bloodthirster after that, or a Hodge. Like I've done uh, Bloodthirster. Yeah, Ionic Spark is actually really good on Silas. Uh, we're gonna give you a Hodge for now. Then we're going to pull you for you. Um, bring you down actually. Do like that maybe. Like that maybe. Okay, take some baby upgrades here. You forgot to bow. I'm holding you in case we get set, right? We want that to be our. Like, I, I could play like an Orn or somebody, but like. I kind of think I wanted to jump in the warden with set. Oh, this guy's got that's real blades. Brutal. Ah, <laughs> oh, this build is hilarious. I need a loon with Morellos, 100%. Because he's going to be holding a lot of the HP, so she'll be burning him down while the front line's being dealt with. Really? Okay, we're gonna stop rolling. Oh, we did she too for now. One more. There she is. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll be back for you. We shall be back. Elena's kind of my biggest carry on this comp right now. Hands down. Once we have two star Silas, it'll be kind of like a little bit more in his court, but these two items with, uh, I usually do like a Nash's Tooth as well, but I think like Morello's Arc Staff plus one is kind of the way I like to build uh, my uh, Silas, or my Loon. And ideally more than one star. <laughs> one star is not where it's at, guys. Even two star, she's really strong though. We are not in a good position here. Blood Knight, you got strong comp. You're pretty strong. Oh man, we're not really on par with these players right now. Hopefully, we get our next album before the fifth stage. That could be devastating. That's tough. Pretty 
Bir sağda. Good job, put him on the hex there. That feels way cleaner. <laughs> so I like to see you guys. Ah, no freaking augment. We're gonna have to probably push our team comp a little bit here. Dryad Behemoth, you say? Invoker would be nice, but we're not going to go for you. I try to get an early level on 4 or 5. Try to hit some pairs. Like right now would be where I want to be hitting these saloons, but I don't know. I feel like someone's contest me a little bit. Oh, you did shot a bit? Okay. You're good. Yeah, this guy's for sure trying to wait for his cane. Surprise, we're all going to be building it. Deleted. I will always take the four hour shop. I don't know why I'm so greedy like that. The greed. There we go. The greed. And... Thirty-two. Should I did that a little early, actually. Okay, though. It's not okay as my loon sitting here getting shot in the face. Awkward. It's just savage, man. Ah, people just hate on the umbrals, man. I don't understand it. They're not strong, like, they're not meta by any chance, but like, they're very good for like mid game. You just have to do like a lot of, they're one thing, here's the thing about Umbral, very expensive team comp to get online. And two, there's a lot of pivoting later, you need to do a lot of swapping of units late game. Definitely not getting that set, but if we did, boy would I be happy. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and we're about to level up too. Sheesh. Kinda sucks. I really wanted this. On Silas, but I can't put those together and still get set in there. You know what I mean? Like this would have to be on you. So we're actually gonna if you bring this out, give you this, move you, you're fine, you're chill. Grab you. Coming for you. You will be put out next. I almost feel like I should just pull away from the heavenly right now. Umbral 6, 4 Reapers, could be a thing. Come on, get your Omnivamp in here, or your uh, burn. There we go. There we go.
Yeah, so we pull the other duelist for now. Like, who's giving me the attack speed? Q's giving me the attack damage. Hey, Invoker, that helps us look huge. It only clouds the future. Pull you for now. Three Reapers. You know, we don't really need to do that. Let's go down to... Oh, jeez, man. Go down to 30. Well, that was short-lived. I don't want to roll past that. That's just where you kind of get into the level of the silliness. But we got our two-star loon. That's going to be huge for us. Um, I want to manipulate this comp. I think I want to try to go with four Reapers. With that, and like, oh man, Slash just has so much potential here right now. I save up a lot of money. I want to try to push this to a 10 comp. Tiny but deadly is crazy good. It's only the second game, you guys, too, so I'm still cooking up with ideas here. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from meta comps. It's my second game of the day. I did my schoolwork earlier. We just did a video where we tried Faded Kane. Um, like I said, that's like me trying to like build non-meta builds, I should say, for content. Show you guys different ways to play the game. I, I, I only post if I get like top threes. I do a lot of these videos where I get like sixes and stuff that, which I should be. Like it's very rare that you play these like non-meta comps and you do like extremely well. I can usually play Umbral for a top four though. It's never contested. It's just expensive, is all. Like I said, there's a lot of directions you can go. Like you can start cutting Nautilus into this comp as your second warden. Not my uh, I, I've wow. been ditching the Orn. Like right now, I'd want to play you. <laughs> Ken wants. What there's there? Well, Kane gets Bloodthirster. How about that? I mean, I have to keep all the umbrals. I have no one really to put this AP on. For my part, I don't really like about this team comp right now. Got too many AP items. Did that ever backfire for him, man? Honestly, starter kit probably was the best thing we could have done. <laughs> like, it just seemed like everything fell into place after that. The game's like, oh, you're playing starter kit? There, here's a bunch of umbrals. Enjoy. Oh, wow, we got 72 gold. I like the one for you, one for me strategy. <laughs> but one in the level. Let's get rid of you. Ah, satisfied. Let's just get rid of you as well. I don't think we're going to do the four Reapers. I'm happy with the two. I'm happy with cutting in Kane and then uh, this Warden. I think Nautis will be a good cut in here. This guy just nuked all of his money. Holy. I mean, if it pays off, it pays off. The loon's what you gotta worry about, though. Incoming! Ba -ba -ba -bow. Oh, I don't hit anybody! No! Ba -ba -ba -bow. Oh, I only hit one person. Man, my ba -ba -ba -bow didn't work. When she's three star, she'd be deleting those people. Let me tell you. Oh, jeez. Kind of in a very uncomfortable position to be in right now. Crash test dummies. Oh my gosh. That 15 gold sounds good. If we get a set here, I'd be just like too excited. This is good. No grab bag. Not necessarily. Crash test dummies is meh. Grim harvest. 
Ah, oh, man, that's tough. No, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna see if we can get set. And 15 gold. Boo! <laughs> I mean, we can cut that invoker in two. Uh, put this out. Throw you in the mix. We're just gonna back away from these heavenlies, honestly. Just get the invoker out. Six umbral, two invoker, two reaper, two warden. Yeah, sure. Works for me. Yeah, obviously we moved way too far away from the heavenly tree. That sucked. <laughs> Balloon coming in with the dubs. Faded? No, not enough room for you. Uh, we want to try to get that Azir. My idea was thrown out the window here. Um, jeez. Oh my god, I'm just passing up items here. Oh, jeez. I just like I was like looking at all the items I wanted and just not pulling the trigger on them. Awkward. Ghostly Sage. I don't have any sages to pair you with. But I could get ghostly in here. And give you a bunch of items. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Monaloon. Hmm. Man, I don't think we're hitting level ten. Don't see us hitting the level ten. If we get the saloon, I think we're pretty much getting to top four. I'd like to think maybe. Don't want to get too carried away, but. Potential's there. I'm coming for you. Oh, no way. Uh, we win this. We'll lock it in now, just in case I forget. Uh, but if we win this, we'll quickly buy him, then unlock our shop. Then uh, try to get a, uh, a loon on our next refresh. Uh, we should see who we're fighting next, right? Which is you. Don't necessarily want you there, boy. You're good here, though. This cane's probably gonna get deleted from this Shen. What I should be doing is moving Kane in where Darius is. To get the attack speed and the immunity. I don't know why I didn't do that. In hindsight, that would have been the play. Plus, against Darius, because he's like on the corner, he'll be getting attacked first by people that are corner units. This guy was first and he won his last match. Unlock our shop with the refresh. Here comes the loon, guys. Dang. I was slick with calling that. I don't know why I'm holding you. We're not going to get you where we need you by the end of the game. Fight you again right after? Or fight you double two times back to back? I can't be right. It must be that must be shown who we just fought. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. I'm a happy monkey bear, guys. You guys will see the three-star loon that I love so much. That's the only reason why I build this comp, really. Because she just has so much potential. 
Uh, let's get something for our cane. Nothing really here I want on that cane. Move you in quick. Maybe put something on set. I like the idea of this, actually. When he jumps in the back line, he's going to get resistances. And then he'll be getting mana back when he's being attacked to potentially get him to grab another unit quicker and dunk them. It's kind of my thought. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but we'll see. Oh, we didn't scout. That's okay. Set's just going to drop a bomb on my head here. Oh, she went through the back line on that one. That was a big burn. She just cleaned out the entire back line, guys. Like, that's... She's so, so broken. I don't know why people aren't playing this champion. Like, I don't like making videos on this, because the more videos I make like this... This is, like, one of my easiest go-to comps. So I'm on my phone. I just want a casual, like, game for top four. Because I just build a win. Like, that's it. Cut her into an Invoker comp, or just cut her into an Umbral comp? Umbral, obviously, is a little bit better. Like, yes, they underperform, but that 20% health uh, execute. Although there is like a glitch, like one of the subscribers pointed out the other day. Like, we'd kill, like, well, I'd hit somebody in the side, was like one HP in the back, and she didn't get executed. Just chilling. I'm like, what? What? Fuck you both in the corner. You're gonna be on, like, you're not even gonna get bothered over here because no one's in this corner. So you're gonna get some mana up and just hit everybody. Oh, go. Your mana pool is so slow, though. I really wish I had an item for you. Yeah, we need an item for him. If that warden had hit, like... Five seconds slow, like sooner, <laughs> we wouldn't have lost that many people. <laughs> he is so slow to get mana. What if we? What if we actually make this swap? So we're fighting you. Your biggest push is over there. We're gonna do this. We're gonna collect you. And we're chilling here. We're gonna collect him with Silas. Silas is gonna be the decoy. We're gonna try to get our our warden here to get some more hits in, get some more damage taken on our Nautilus, so he gets the big knockup for a loon to delete. Yeah, that was nice. Side's coming in, getting ready for the dunk. He moved his Shen. Didn't really do him any good, though. Alright. Stroke those cords, Sona. <laughs> ah, that's funny. We've just been saving this entire time, too. Trying to get... Uh... Okay, so that's a, that's a bust. Let's get this ground guard for set. I'm gonna make him a... Pretty ruthless frontliner. C C C C. got a single knockup in. Yeah, I'm not going to give this Nautilus any more love.
pull of his units out. They're going to have to walk up to get some attacks out. Meanwhile, my back line is doing their thing. 68. I want to wait till after Elder and push another unit out. Hoping they kind of get baited towards this, this useless unit over here that does absolutely nothing. This line should get baited over, hopefully. At least a couple of them. Three. It's not bad. Hmm. In theory, I thought that was going to work a lot better. Turns out, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, you're broke. I'm not. Let's see if we can make a play here. Any invoker. Jeez, that'd be pretty crazy. Try to keep up. Let's move you guys back up. Get you here. You're fine there. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're useless. Well, let me add some decent items for you. Jeez, tell us how you really feel. They just ran right from my carry. Tonight, that's cool. I never rest. We are made by our choices. Don't know if that really makes any difference. I think we have the damage, honestly. Come on, now, let's get hit up. Thank you. Slow and steady. Now the actual heavenly team comp just is superior. But man, the fact I can play my my umbral into this and get a second is a okay in my books. All right, guys, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.